did not inherit earth from our grandfathers. We borrowed it from our grandchildren. And what does this mean? It means sustainable development is the development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the needs of the future generation. The world today is unrecognizable from the early 19th century before fossil fuel came into wider use. We see continuous, continuous exponential development and oil and gas played an important role, not in the fuel, it's in our day-to-day -day life. Sustainability is not an option. It is an obligation to contribute to the three pillars of environment, economy, and society. Arabia Drilling, we own, operate, and manage drilling rigs. The rig is a platform where different services come on board to construct a well. The well can be used for oil, for gas, for water, or a combination of both, or for example, injecting CO2, so it can be for environmental reasons as well. We have initiatives in place to contribute to the three basic pillars of sustainability, and it's taking care of the environment, boosting the economy and the social aspects of our business in the communities we will work and where we live in. Our Arabian drilling ambitious plan is to uh, reach uh, net zero by 2050 on our scope one and two emissions. Scope one is basically the emission we directly generate from our operation, while scope two are the emission generated through the power we procure via the grid and as well reach uh, a zero target, a net zero target uh, by 2050 as well. We have in everything that we do, an optimization process that ensures we continuously improve the value we generate for our shareholder, for our uh, customer, and for the, the, the people we work, and with, uh, we work with. We've been operating in Saudi Arabia for six decades, and it is critical for us to identify the impact we have on people and the communities around us. We have various initiatives whereby we go out to the communities, to schools, to the people and the family around us to elevate their knowledge in the things we do best, namely, namely health and safety. And with that, by creating a safer community around, around us, we create a more sustainable and resilient environment going forward. I'm Abdullah Akrawi, it's uh, being the operation manager, mainly for the, the land rigs on ADC. ADC, it's our established company, which has been established in 1963, been drilling with Aramco since then. Uh, so far, we are having 45 rigs, uh, 38 is land rigs, and seven of them is offshore. If you look at Arabian drilling, there we have very heavy equipment, rotating equipment. We deal with oil and gas, which is extremely flammable. And as well, we move rigs, and rigs are very, very big so you can easily get hurt. So what do we do? We do different kind of measures. So we have stop work, uh, work authority. And, and stop work authority is literally giving the right to any employee that we have to stop any job, regardless of what the position of the employee is. Is it a trainee, uh, an op uh, someone who's from operation or non-operation, and sees something wrong, he or she have the right, and actually they are obligated that they have to stop the job so no one gets hurt. The life and working conditions of people matter and we are striving to provide the safest working environment to allow our people and all of those who are working on our rigs to follow for their tasks safely. You know, accidents are unplanned events and our goal is no accident, no harm to the people and no damage to the environment. And to deliver this, we carefully plan our operations with the aim of identifying potential hazards and managing risk at every stage. Listening to our people is a must and it allows us to understand the needs and how to provide a better support to our personnel. When it comes to gender diversity, I believe Arabian Drilling has been one of the leading organizations to empower female in the region and the drilling industry. The Arabian Drilling culture is a culture where every voice is welcome, heard and respected, starting from the hiring process till retiring. 
and the result is in the female population doubled in operation support in the past few years in a male dominant industry. We have helped local businesses to grow sustainably. We have created enough critical mass for them to increase the performance of their business and have a long term view. In 2017, we've been the first recipient of the King Khalid Award for responsible competitiveness. In addition to that, Saudi Aramco has recognized us five times in a row in the In Kingdom Total Value Add program, which is a program that is put in place to ensure that the local community gets developed. We have proudly developed our own career development program, a process of gaining knowledge and improving skills that will help an individual to establish a career plan, supporting the employee to develop the necessary skills and competencies with having a clear career path, which is called Faris program. Along with that program, we have TDPs, NWDs, and Timhir, with a current total of 140 trainees, which will be officially joining Arabian Drilling Company, inshallah. Like any well-run company and well-governed, when you come to a certain size and you really want to grow, and as I mentioned, we, are, we have very strong plans to grow, one best way is to go IPO. So we, you know, very honored and happy we received the uh, CMA approval, Capit the Saudi Capital Market Authority gave us the approvals, and now we're going through the process uh, to, to go IPO, float IPO, hopefully in some, sometime before year end. As long as we're safe and we deliver on performance, these are the two main key pillars to make sure you are on the top and you're lead leading in the, in the drilling business. The core of Arabian drilling values are in the slogan, strive for excellence. And STRIVE stands for safety, teamwork, reliability, integrity, value, and last but not least, environment.